My son, yeah. if thou come to serve the Lord, yeah. prepare thy soul for temptation. Right, you see, so when you come to serve the Lord, you gotta prepare thy soul for temptation. Right? You gotta prepare yourself that you're gonna be going through things. You know? Like, that's another thing. Churches don't tell you that when you come to really truly serve your high mind, you know what I'm saying, that you're gonna go through something. People think it's just, when you pick up the Bible, it's just a cakewalk. Oh, they got the good book, everything's good now. Every, uh, everything is going to go your way. No, that's not how this works, man. Everything is not going to go your way. Man. Read that again. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, uh -huh. prepare thy soul for temptation. Right. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure. Uh -huh. And make not haste in time of trouble. Yeah, don't make not haste in time of trouble, man. You're going you to be going through things, man. But these things that you're going to go through that you must endure. Okay? You must endure. Go ahead. Cleave unto him and depart not away. That's what you're supposed to cleave into. You cleave into Yah by Simeon Shaq. You don't depart away just because you may be uh, going through a uh, tribulation time, tribulation, different trial. You may lose your job. You may lose your woman. Okay? You may lose your children. Everybody's coming up against you, family members. You're losing all your friends. So what? Cleave to Yah by Simeon Shaq. Because okay, none of those people deliver you from what's coming. Not none. Go ahead. That thou mayest be increased at the last end. Thou mayest be what? That thou mayest be increased at the last end. See, so the Lord will increase you at the last end. See? Hey, and then with using that, just uh, something came in my mind. What did Yahweh Shah say? Um, man. Man, man, remember how Yahweh Shah said, uh, do you follow me in, um, Three generation, go ahead. Uh, so that's that, that, a good example of what the brother just read and what the brother's looking for is Job. How Job, how Job went through all that things. He lost everything. You see? So that's the other flip side of what I was bringing out is that the Most High would give you certain things. But the flip side to that is Job wasn't doing nothing wrong. But what happened? He lost everything, right? You know, but he, but he endured, constantly endured. Make not haste in the time of trouble. Job didn't start getting all in a frenzy and cursing the Lord, even though his wife recommended him that he do it such. He didn't do that. He endured. And what happened? In his latter end, he was increased, man. Right. You know? Right. Twofold. I got one. I got Matthew 19. <laughs> I love this. Verse uh, uh, 27. It says, Then answered Peter and said to him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And Yahweh Shah said unto them, Verily I say unto you that that ye which have followed me in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon the twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone that have forsaken what houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. Yeah, hey man, that's that's a few, like like, it's, like I said, that's that's what Job went through, yep. and also in this truth, you're gonna go through that. Yep. You're gonna end up losing a, a woman over this truth. Yep. You may you may lose uh, your family members, yep. and you're gonna have to protect them. You know, a hey, protect the uh, the foolish and live, man. You know, you, you can't let them drag you down because what's gonna happen? Y'all gonna become contrary to each other. Man. But the point is, you may lose those things, but if you endure, it's gonna be a great reward for it. Like I just said, what we can see tenfold going to get much more than that, just like the example of Job. The things you lose on this side are going to fail. They're going to fail to even comprehend to be uh, equal to what you're going to gain in the kingdom. You know? You can't even, like the scriptures also tell you, uh, uh, I have not seen or ear have not heard that which he have laid up for them that love him. I'm, I'm roughly paraphrasing. You know what I'm talking about? And it, you can't even imagine what the most high has for them following him in righteousness. It's going to be more beautiful than you can ever think of. This is, this is the book of Job, chapter 42, verse 12. So the Lord, uh, so the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning. For he had 14,000 sheep and 6,000 camels 
and a thousand yoke of oxen and a thousand she asses. Mm -hmm. He had also seven sons and three daughters. Right, so now we know it. Job, Job lost everything. He lost his riches. He was going to endure going through that trial and tribulation, uh, having all these different boils on him. Right? Hey, it was to the point Job was going through so much uh, uh, persecution, right? That man said he what? He wanted to die, man. He was saying uh, stuff like, hey, why didn't I just die in my mother's womb? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Better that I not been born. Yeah. Hey, he lost his children. Right? His woman became, oh man, what word can I use for her? His woman was just, she was completely out her man. He even hopped on her. She tempted Job to perfect the most high. Type of That's how these women be too. When y'all be doing real good and then things start to shake, shake and dip bad for you. They can take it out of the leaves, man. Hey, this, come on, man. Women like faith. Women like faith, bro. Yeah. Women like faith. Hold on, brother. You told us, yeah. You read this out. Hold on. Yeah, you did tell us that last week. I forget what you said. Isa. Yeah. What does that mean? How you spell it? I don't know. Okay. All right, let's do a finish and read that. Go ahead. All right. He had also seven sons uh -huh. and three daughters. Yep. And he called the name of the first uh, Jemima, uh, and the name of the second uh, Kizia, and the name of the third Karen uh, Papak. And in, in all the land were no women found so fair as the daughters of Job. Yeah. And their father gave them inheritance among their brethren. Go ahead. After this, Job lived 140 years and saw his sons and his sons' sons, even four generations. Woo! Four generations? Saw his sons and his sons' sons. See? And that's everything that Job lost. That's Some more for uh, uh, Yeah. So Job died being old uh, and full of days. Right. right, right. So basically, Job, right? He got everything restored back to him at the latter end. Honey, See? If, if I may add something. Those, those were the first things that he lost: his son and his daughter, yeah. and his yeah. wife. Yeah. Hey, brother. Let me let me say something to you. Come here, come here. Don't worry about your name is the same as Esau's name. All you need to worry about is that you are Israelite. You understand that? Okay, so if you come from the seed of Israel, repent because this place is about to be destroyed. Don't worry about all of that. Yeah. All right, now. Yeah, right, right, right. Can you just call up on my name is Esau, so am I with you? I'm just letting them know, man. Don't worry about all that. You're an Israelite. Good point, bro. I didn't. That's the body though. These things come to life. You know what I'm saying? No. But I did tell you last week, I said, you know, Esau's a little more. I thought you were listening. Wait till then. Huh? But, you know, yeah, I think it's simplified. Alright, so, uh, yeah, so like we're saying, man, you everything back, man. But you have to endure this thing, man. Okay? So you still got that Serac still? Serac two, okay. We got about, we got five, about four. Okay. This is Serac chapter two, verse four. Yeah. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, well, take cheerfully. Whatever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. And be, and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. So you gotta be patient when that you change to a lower state, man. Like the brother was doing it to you, man. Coming to this day, you lose things. That's just gonna happen, man. But you gotta understand that the Lord is trying you. Okay? He's trying you here. Right. He tells you that, uh, so it's not to the swift, or to the hard, or to the strong, but time and chance happening to, to them both. You know, even to the, um, to the, to the just and the unjust. So, you know, you endure whatever you're going through. You can change one and two. Second, 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 second,
Yeah, yeah, I know. That's you, yeah, you, hold, you hold it. Oh, exactly. Book of James. Book of James, chapter 1, verse 2. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Woo! My brethren, count it all joy when you, when you fall into diverse or different uh, temptations. Okay? Because Go ahead. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Yeah. But let patience have a perfect work, that ye may be perfect and and uh and enter wanting nothing. Right, because it's the trying of your faith, man. Okay? The trying of your faith. See, see if you know what? He's I, I'm about to put him through this test. Let's see if he fold up. Okay, let's see if he fold up. Hey, just like the uh, in the same essence with dealing with Job, man. Okay, what, what, what did Satan come Satan say? You know what? Hey, you put Job through this, I bet he cursed him. You know? Hey, 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 let, let, let me, uh, uh, let me, let me, uh, stricken his flesh. Betty Kirsty. All right, let me try this. Let me take everything that he had. I bet he cursed him. See? And, and Jer, Joe was the man with the technique. He didn't curse him, Okay? He didn't curse him, He endured everything, right? But still continued to cleave to the Lord. Okay? He cleave, still cleave to the Lord. He didn't forsake the Lord because of what he was going through. He didn't have that, that spirit as his woman. To forsake the Lord? No. I think. You want to read that again? James 1 and 2. Uh -huh. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Right. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect, yeah. and enter wanting nothing. Yeah, so amen. You gotta be patient, long suffering. These are just some of the things that we're supposed to have in the spirit. So we're gonna go through situations where we, can, we might get angry, but we're supposed to stand not. We gotta be able to harden ourselves against these things, because man, it's gonna be hella shit happening during the day of trouble. Yeah. That, you, that if you act the wrong way, you can step outside of the head of that protection of the most high and get caught up in the carnival. When you go into the word endurance, uh, for endurance, you get what? You get endurance. Okay, so you gotta endure these things. You gotta have that endurance. Okay, you gotta pray to have the endurance. All right, it's always good to pray to have patience, endurance, a covering. You know? I mean, I, the word when you go into the word endure, it means to make hard. Okay. Right. As, as like a, another example in the Spanish, when you say uh, the word for hard is duro. Oh, right. Which is it's the same. It's the same. Uh, uh, I would just say suffix as endure, which means to make hard. Okay. But the word in Spanish is duro, which means hard also. Okay. So just to throw that out there. Right, right. Yeah. I got sec another precept. Second Edges 10 verse 14, it says, Then then say I unto thee, like as thou hast brought forth with labor, even so the earth also have given her fruit, namely man ever sitteth the beginning unto him that made her. Now therefore keep thy sorrow to thyself and bear with a good courage raise that which have befallen you see so you gotta you have to bear that man you gotta bear with good courage okay take it upon the chin you see take it upon the chin run with it you know you might as well hey you might as well embrace it because coming into this truth that's what's going to take place and embrace it you see because it's going to come it's going to come but you got to know how to, to stand up and fight against it to be able to get through it, to get through the battle. Okay? Because this is the battle. You see? I said back to it, bro. All right. This is uh, the book of Sirach, uh, chapter 2, verse 5. Right? For gold is tried in the fire. Woo! And acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Right? For gold is tried in the fire. Right? So when you when you dealing with gold, or you dealing with even silver, but we got some good gold. Uh, uh, they have to melt it. They have to melt it and burn wax so they can get all the, the, the purities out of it. And that's the same thing in this truth. You know, the Lord is trying to get the impurities out of us. You know, so that's why we have to go through this this, this affliction. Okay. Yeah. The scripture say, "I will thoroughly purge thy dross." Woo! And that dross is those impurities, man. That's right. And, 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 and uh. Uh, uh, the physical ex uh, representation of that dross is wicked Israelites that are useless, man. You know, 
Most High has no use for you when you do wickedness. So he's going to purge you away. And that purging process requires an extreme heat. Okay, and if you don't die in the different calamities that are coming, you're going to die through nuclear destruction, man. That heat is going to cleanse the house of Israel along with uh, the different places that will receive that nuclear fire. If I may ask on that nuclear fire, is that is that physical heat? Right now, what we're in, we're in that spiritual fire. You know, fighting the spiritual battle, be, being cleansed through that spiritual fire with, with those different adversities, as it just said in Sirach, the, uh, the second chapter. Right, right. There's another. Uh, oh man, you my brother know where it is? Uh, 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 something. Go through the fire and try to uh, everybody else is going through the same thing. It's not only you that's going through it. You find it? Okay, I'll, I'll just get this back to my level of precept. Isaiah 48 and 10 it says, it says, Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. See, so going back to what the brother was saying, you know, we've been put through that furnace. We're, we're being tried. We're getting the impurities burned out of us. See? Because my knees. Yeah. So back to that, brother. Get That open, open. This is the book of Sirach, chapter two, verse. Verse 6, right. believe in him, mm -hmm. and he will help you. Order thy way aright, and trust in him. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy, and go not aside, lest ye fall. Lock it. Read that again, bro. Uh, the, uh, Sirach chapter 2, verse 6. Uh -huh. Believe in him, uh -huh. and he will help thee. Yeah. Order thy way aright, and trust in him. Yeah, so you got to believe in him that he will help thee. See, our people don't believe that the Lord is truly going to help them. See? Why? Because they lack faith. See? Our people believe in things that they see. They don't believe in things that they don't see, man. See? That's why people got that mindset, uh, seeing is believing. No, man. See? That's, 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 that's madness, man. Go ahead. Uh, chapter, chapter, uh, Salakia. Yeah. Verse, verse 7. Uh-huh. Ye that fear the Lord, Wait for his mercy yep. and go not aside lest you fall. Right, ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy. Uh, uh, hey, hey, brother, what's your ethnicity? Yeah, you must be a root. A root? Yeah, Israelites. Israelite. <laughs> so what's Israelitas? Yeah. Okay, hermanos. Uh huh. Gracias a Dios. Adios. Right, so, uh, hey, Dick. Lord gonna, Lord gonna jack Jake up and boy. Tell him, boy. They, hey, look, it's so bad. She might have seen Chesedee and she ain't look not again to him, <laughs> That's how heavy they is in idolatry, boy. See, that's how heavy the Lord is in the idolatry, man. The Lord, you don't see what the Lord doing over there in Venezuela, man. He already visiting, y'all. Visiting, y'all. See? Heavy judgment is gonna come upon the Northern Kingdom, man. All Israel, you know, but I'm getting on the Northern Kingdom right now. Yeah, like Venezuela is like a prelude to what's coming here. Because you got people down there willing to kill each other for food. Venezuela is a prelude that's coming to where all you Israelites dwell at, man. All of you. Okay. It says, Ye that fear the Lord, verse 9. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good. And for everlasting, everlasting joy and mercy. Look at the generations of old and see if ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded. Right, was any of our forefathers that trusted in the Lord, were they ever confounded? No. Okay. That's why some people who you truly gotta put your trust in. You gotta put your trust in the eye watching that with God. Go ahead, brother. For whom did he ever despise of uh, Salatia? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? 
But whom did he ever despise that calls, called upon him? Who was ever despised that called upon him? None. Okay, not, a, not none of the righteous men. They wasn't despised. They called upon the name of the Lord, man. See, hey, the scripture said the name of the Lord is the strong tire. He that uh, uh, the righteous run into it and are safe. Yeah, the righteous run into it and are safe. <laughs> yep. Go ahead, bro. Come on, man. Verse, verse 11. For the Lord is full of compa compassion and mercy and long suffering. Yep, long suffering, man. You see, and our, and our people take his long suffering uh, as a joke, man. Just because he allowed Jake to run around downtown, shop, go check out girls, do all manners of wickedness, y'all take the Lord's long suffering as a joke. But when the Lord starts sending, sending the plagues and judgment upon y'all, y'all ain't going to take it as a joke no more, man. You see? Right see, Jake thinks that they can just play around all for the rest of their life. No, nah, man. The Lord about to bring a heavy judgment to this place, man. And all you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, so-called Haitians, West Indians, North American Indians, Seminole Indians, all y'all that don't repent, y'all gonna die, man. That's right! A grievous death, too. See? Because y'all take everything as a joke. It's not a joke. See? The, the judgments that's coming to America, it's not a joke. See, y'all haven't ever went a day, y'all haven't even went six hours without eating. Y'all haven't even tried that before. So imagine when the famine comes, and y'all gonna go days without eating. That's what's coming here, man. It's not a joke. That's what's coming here. Y'all ain't never been through no real riot. Y'all talking about the riot with uh, Rodney King. That wasn't nothing what the Lord's bringing to this place, man. It's really gonna be nation against nation, man. It's gonna be Edomites, the so-called white man, versus the other nations. Arabs, Israelites, our people, Israelites. That's what's coming, race war, famine, insurrection, uprising against the government. FEMA camps, martial law, all these things is coming. Yeah, Jake's stupid as hell, walking up and down the street, walking around with their pants off their ass, bullshitting. You see, just nobody don't want to come out here and stand boldly for the word of the Lord and tell our people that they're going off, man. You see, that's why we out here, to tell our people that they're going off. If they continue in that wrong path, they're going to be destroyed, man. You continue to disobey the word of the Lord. You continue to do whatever the hell you want, what you think is right. You're going to be destroyed, man. I worry about you other nations. We don't give a damn about y'all. See? Y'all already got y'all punishment. There's no hope for y'all. Y'all going in captivity. But our people, what, what's wrong with y'all, man? Damn, man. Y'all minds gonna have so polluted where you think this is a joke. We're gonna see how much a joke it is when destruction comes. Go ahead, bro. I just wanted to make a statement, too. But you see these young Jakes walking around, right? Maybe uh, like the brother was talking about. I mean, it's like it down. A lot of them be like, you know, cold hearted towards their people and kill a nigga quick right, over man. over nothing. But they but they take the, they take the day of the Lord as a joke, man. Or the coming destruction as a joke. They take his grace and his mercy as a joke. Huh? That's what they take as a joke. Alright, this is Zephaniah 1 14. The day gray of Yahweh is near, it is near and hasteth greatly. Even the voice of the day of the of Yahweh. The mighty man shall cry there bitterly. If you think you think you're the streets, you think you're tough, you're gonna cry, man. And the most I ain't gonna hear your cry, man. All these young jets running around here, these young lions, they're gonna get their teeth broken, man. They're gonna be they're gonna be they're gonna turn to little puppies, man, little pussy cats, man. And the most I ain't gonna be trying to hear that, oh God, oh God, no man. No, you want to smoke your weed, you want to be a little hood nigga. No. Robbing niggas and killing niggas and right. doing your wickedness, they gonna fucking die, man. Yeah. Right, right, right. Go ahead, bro. You got to kill them. Nah, we're going that bro. Oh, I got a free sample. Here it goes. upon the mercy of the Lord and upon thy acts of old, how thou deliverest such as wait for thee, and savest them out of the hands of the enemies. You see? So going back to what the brother read, you know, uh, 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 look at the generations of old and see did ever 
you need trust in the Lord was confounded. No, man. They wasn't. See? All right, go ahead, bro. All right, love it. This is the book of Sirach, verse 11. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Go ahead, bro. Because they, bro, Jake gone, bro. See, see, Jake think that because we wear our ancient garments that this is an Islamic custom. No, man. Okay, first of all, in the ancient world, we all had fabrics and garments long garments but the difference of the Israelites is we had on the fringes with the border of blue because when we looked upon it now what we can remember the commandments of the Lord see Arabs didn't do that okay right that wasn't the they don't wear this garb man especially our people that be in that in that Islam oh, hell shit. No, bro. they don't wear none of this man you got some of them that fake it like Kevin Gates and putting on a little stuff over their jeans they be wearing like but... hats and like weird they be looking like uniforms or something like that yeah. These, are, these are garments down to the foot. Yeah, they okay. wear turbans and they wear meetings. Right, 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 right. But I was just saying, as far as in the ancient world, right, but what, it really wasn't no type of thing. The attire that you see today, and it wasn't wearing none of that type of stuff, man. All right, go ahead. Uh, all right, uh, Sirach chapter 2, verse 11. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy and long suffering. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Sirach chapter 2, verse 11. Uh -huh. For the Lord is full of compassion. Right, so the Lord is full of compassion and what else? And mercy. And I was just saying, Jake take that for granted, man. You see, Jake take that for granted. Because they think they can get run around here and do all their wickedness and not get uh, hands laid upon them. Okay. All y'all doing is stacking up y'all y'all uh, debt, man. Y'all debt that y'all got to pay to the Lord. You see? You know how Esau come and repo you if you lay on your car payment? Or your car payment? Yeah, you see? Hey, you know how they be hunting you? How they be sitting around the corner for you? Waiting for you to call off and go park it at a corner store? Or wait till you come out to the car? Hey, that's what the Lord going to do too. You see? But he goes to working with the repo man doing. He coming with that swift destruction. It's coming hard. And all y'all ended like something to repent, man. Yeah, straight up. Coming to this place. Don't turn back to the most high, you're going to die. Right. Go ahead, bro. Uh, long suffering and very pitiful. Yup. And forgiveth sins and saveth in the time of affliction. Yup. Yup. The Lord saveth in the time of affliction. But the only ones that's going to be saved on this side is the elect. That's it. Two thirds of our people got to go. See? They got to go. Go ahead, bro. Cut. Uh, verse 12. Uh -huh. woe, to, woe be to the fearful heart and the faint hands and the sinner that goeth two ways. Woe unto him that is faint hearted, for he believeth not. Therefore shall he die. Uh, therefore shall he not be defended. Woo! There's, therefore shall he not be defended. See? Why? Because he's faint hearted, brother. Uh, let me look at that word faint hearted. Yeah, that's exactly what it yeah. means. Weak-minded. Yeah. Fearful. Yeah, yeah. Fearful. That's right, yeah. Because it all happens in your mind. It says to make soft, to yeah. fear, to faint, yeah. to consume, to dissolve, literally to soften. <laughs> <laughs> and what does it say? Endure, uh, endure hardness is a good soldier, man. Ooh. Right, you right. Know? the soften supposed to be good. Uh, supposed to be hard. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, put out that weak nature, yeah, yeah. So you gotta be, hey man, and like the brother went into earlier, endure, going back to the word duro, which means hard. And that duro is for, the Spanish word for hard, or for hard. So you gotta, hey man, the most high, hey man, the fiery trial that you go through is to make you 
hard and to make you. And what did the scripture say also? Uh, he showed mercy to whom he will, and whom he will, he hardened it. Ooh. It literally says that. Yep. He's going to make it to where you're going to be able to see 